Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Today we're going to talk about another BOLO item to be looking for. It's insulators. Probably don't know what it is for the most of you, but we're going to go over there right now and I'm going to show you exactly what they are. So the insulators I am talking about would have been used on poles or even in houses in some cases to insulate the wire, whether it's electrical, telegraph, or something along that line, from its environment. Some of them are glass like you see here, and they're also pottery and porcelain ones also. Some of these can go for five or $10,000 if you get the right one. There's a huge collector's field around these. Many are electricians who would have seen these throughout their career. Some of these go back before the Civil War, from the 1850s or thereabouts, and they would have been used for the telegraph back in the day. Uh, it's just a mainstay of the electrical industry for quite some time. We found these in houses or barns, on poles still out in the wild even. I've even been to estate sales where we've unscrewed them from walls or posts, poles, even stuff out in the backyard in the barn. So they do still show up. You can find them where you'll find bottles at. If you see old bottles, chances are there's probably some insulators around. There are many old houses. You'll find them in the basement, as I said, sometimes the attic and the garage most definitely so. Here's a real good example of one. This one's from 1905. The shape and design have a big play in the price. So do the type of glass and the color of the glass. This one went for $2,551. Two bids. This one has a small chip to it as well. We've sold these. I've had tons of insulators in my day. I've taken tons of them off poles and walls. If they're early enough, the pole with them will help increase the value. You also find some that have wooden sleeves or wooden covers on them also. We'll show you a few of those so you can get an idea on what we're talking about. Here's another early one. Uh, baby claw is what it's called because of the top up here. It kind of looks like a claw. Just a real good example. Most of these are threaded on the inside so it could be screwed onto a wooden pole or a wooden piece that would be the part that you would mount it to something. Some of them would have been just strung around this way and then wood over them. Some would have wood over them and then the wire would go around it. Basically, the glass stops it from being grounded when you touch a pole that's embedded in the ground. So that's the gist on it. This one went for $2,224, 18 bids. There's books, and I mean tons of books on this type. If I'm not mistaken, there's still an active club of collectors that puts out like a monthly newsletter or a quarterly newsletter also. Again, I run into these everywhere. I don't think there's an antique uh, mall or antique store I've been in that didn't have a couple of these. And you can turn some of these up at antique malls and antique stores too, just because they're not collectors and they don't realize the value on these. I've run into these at Savers, Goodwill most definitely, and Salvation Army also. I've seen them on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace posts as well. They're all over the place. If you know the right ones, the majority of them though, just like any other category, carry little value. So it's the rare ones that'll bring you the value. Here's just another real early one. This is the same type of glass that they call black glass that when you hold it up to the light, it's actually a green color, olive green usually. Here's a real early, interesting, probably the Civil War thereabouts. The telegraph line would have been wrapped around the center and the rib section on the glass would have actually stopped it from sliding off in the weather. Uh, and then you would have had a wooden stake or pole. I don't think that's the original pole on there. This one's threadless. It would just sit there on top. And this one went for $2,157. And again, these turn up all over the place. Many people don't realize that's what these are. Like this one here, on its own, just looks like an old beat up piece of glass to most people because it's literally, that's all it is. It's just a glass tube, just like a drinking glass almost. Now here's the whole setup. You see the wood over it, that's the cover, and then the wire itself across it too. The wire kind of held it in place also. So $1,800, just over 29 bids. Another early one, probably Civil War era as well, or before, as this one says, 1850s. The mold seam down the side would kind of suggest it's a three-piece mold from what I see, that it probably is around 1850 to 1860, just by that mold line. The other one we showed you, Civil War, chances are had a mold line also. 
Either way, I've seen enough of these to say, yeah, that it's Civil War. I go to military shows. I've collected. I've metal detected. We've even bottle dug with rods in the swampy areas. We've dug up some privy. So I've experienced the find of actually finding these in the wild, too. If you haven't done it, it's a really neat thing. Uh, it takes some time and experience, just like anything, of course. This one went for almost $1,500. Another interesting one, this one has a uh, kind of like a wing nut on the top. Now, this one's for a trolley. Now, a trolley would connect, in many cases, on some of the streetcars with the electrical wires up on top, and that's what would actually run it. And this is one of the insulators for that system. $1,425. These are rarer than any of the standard ones. These even dwarf price-wise on some of the telegraph ones also, depending on the age. This is a newer one, obviously. Another good example here. Again, there's tons of names, tons of different types. There's some that are even hand-blown. $1,234 on this one here. No name on this one here. It's just a number, uh, probably a regulatory number uh, for the electrical industry. Another early one, Dark Olive. This is Black Glass also. He's got some other examples. So you can see the, the difference, how it diffuses through this. When you're close to it, it just looks like black glass. $1,175 on this one. Another early one, Petticoat Patent, 1893. Now, some of these look purple, and from my understanding and from what I saw with some scams that were done in the 80s and 90s, the sun could have turned this to purple. It may have just been standard glass that had chemicals in it back in the day that they used or elements, and when it hit enough sun exposure, it would slightly change it over time. Now, in the 80s and 90s, somebody was taking standard coke bottles and irradiating them and they would turn brown and then they were able to get three four five six seven eight nine ten times what a normal coke bottle would go as a brown one there's a whole bunch of information online on that process if you'd care to look it was a big thing back in the 80s and 90s from florida when we lived there that went across the country actually nice early example though 786 dollars interesting one hemingway Another real great example of color for these. This is an amber, if you don't know the difference on it. It's not yellow. They call this amber. Really nice example of this one. Heming Gray made tons of different colors, and it's one of the most widely collected ones that you'll find in the average price. $861 on this one. Another Heming Gray, a nice cobalt blue. Cobalt blue anything in glass is usually very popular, as long as it's vintage. $787, 34 bids on this one. Now here's a large size. This is probably Civil War or before. Uh, it's a very crude example. Many people, when they find these types of things, especially without markings like this, won't have a clue what they are. Something you might pick up for 5 or 10 bucks. It sold for $542. Now this one here, the wire would obviously go around where you see the rib section. You can see the mold line also. Really nice early example. Black glass, like uh, many of the other Civil War items were. Now here's a transcontinental railroad insulator. This would have been for a telegraph line of some sorts also, like a Western Union. Uh, it just looks like a hunk of glass. It's hollow on one side. It looks like it's cracked, if I'm not mistaken, also. Really nice, interesting piece. Any one of these sells for a ton of money. No markings. It just is basically a drinking glass to some people. $406, 53 bids on this one. Now here's a Western Telegraph, $401. Rather interesting. They're usually marked with markings that would identify it as that. You can see where the wire goes. This one is threaded on the inside. You can see the bubbles, which is perfectly what you would expect. It has some chips across the bottom. It's still sold for $400, so real nice example. Either way, even with the damage. Now this is called a coolie hat. Uh, a coolie is a Chinese... Um, um, it's semi a derogatory remark, but that's the standard definition on these. Um, it's literally what's listed in the books. It's basically a workman in, in China back in the day. They were kind of like sharecropper servants of some class, I guess you would say. You'll have to look into that on your own. I'm not going to go into any detail on it. It's the style. That's the name. These are always called. 
um, you'll see some that don't have that in the term that may not understand or know that but the price guides literally have that in these another hemming gray as well really nice looking example shape wise I thought mushrooms fit this one far better than anything else it looks like a mushroom a toadstool here's another one this one looks like a mushroom in my book or a satellite or a UFO $2026 18 bids real nice example you can see how it uh, would be mounted onto a pole from the bottom people make displays for these and you'll see them lined up like it was still on a pole even in some people's houses or they'll have them in their backyard or in the garage really nice examples here here's a California one now this one states rich purple sometimes again as I said some of these are colored purple from the radiation from the Sun beaming on them for 80 years out in the wild so California ones usually do fairly well I have only found one in my entire life that was marked California so they don't show up three hundred ninety seven dollars eighty nine bits probably in California you have a better chance on finding them but not over here in the Mideast section of the country now porcelain ceramics and pottery also have um, uses in the insulator market this is a good example the wire would have again went through the rippled section the rib section in the middle and then there's a little spigot there where it could have been wrapped around also some people mix these up with crude coffee cups believe it or not you can kind of see why it has a handle um, if you turn it over it would hold liquid also it just looks like a pottery piece that someone might have made in college in all honesty three hundred and sixty dollars twenty bids uh, most of these type do not have threading it just sat on a pole they would have jammed in a wood pole just enough and when it rained or had some moisture on it, it would tighten it up inside there so good example now here is what many people look for are these newer pottery uh, ceramic versions it reminds me of whole pottery the color on these so if you know the whole pottery line the brown or even the mirror dripped versions of whole it's still the solid brown part of it that's similar to what these are these are the more uh, stylized that are missed because these do resemble the more modern day ones that people would find in a house um, again this one could be found in a house but it's just not a very common one this says that there's only eight known examples of this going back to books there's price guides rarity guides that will tell you how many are known to exist um, some of these were only uh, one or two examples of some of these exist in all of the world a lot of the problem with these are a lot of people don't understand the market or don't think they hold much value just because sometimes they're just mounted on walls or set in the basement chipped up and such forth so there's not as many people listing these as you would think it's a limited market to some extent too but it's a huge area thousands of these are up at any given day of the week thousands of these have sold for you know tons of money as you see but that's what I have for you today well there you go there's another item that I do look for hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button down below you can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live subscribe and tell a friend